Something else to review today, we are reviewing a detergent. This was released a while ago, it's from Surf, liquid detergent, fragrance, coconut bliss. We've got some very grubby towels, we're going to try them on. And we're going to be doing the first review with the LG as well. You're watching Florence Ballad A3060 on film. to think about for summer. Surf Coconut Bliss, okay. This is a 25 wash bottle measuring 875 milliliters. I brought this from Iceland and I did buy it a while ago and it's been sat in my cupboard for a bit. Was it Iceland? I can't remember if it was Iceland or Morrison's I bought it from. It might have been Morrison's. Um, I bought it for quite cheap. I normally prefer powder but I thought I would try out some liquid. So, I'm trying to imagine how nice this is going to smell. We're going to test its cleaning capabilities on a standard 60 degree Celsius wash, to be fair, with uh, some towels. Um, some of the towels have stains that have been set in over the day, and the others have just been freshly put on now, so we're going to test it against different types of stains. Dirt and food as well. There's also some microfiber cloths we're trying out from work. So it's part of the... Good Housekeeping Institute, and it was voted Product of the Year in 2020. So I'm going to get the uh, reaction now to how it smells. The part I love the most. Oh, that's very nice. So it's got, as you'd expect, a coconut smell. But like Malibu, really. If anyone knows the, the rum, Malibu. It kind of smells like that. So what we're going to test it in the LG on a wash and a dry, because we're going to see if after the drying cycle, does this still remain. A lot of detergents tend to shed their smell once the dryer comes on. Might be different for a washer dryer compared to a tumble dryer. We'll see. Let's put it to the test. This machine I will be doing a review on at some point. It's an LG Direct Drive washer dryer. With an 8 kilogram load, 4 kilogram drying, and a 1400 RPM spin speed. So, this is tomato ketchup, which is just put on now. This towel is actually brown, but it got bleached. This is uh, parts of a casserole. This sauce, again, freshly put on. Dishcloth that's dirty. This towel has been, uh, that is soy sauce, rubbed on this morning. This is dirt from outside, cleaning my bike and the porch outside. And then these ones from work have been cleaning around, dirt and whatnot. And they smell horrible. So, for a small load, our dosage tells us 35 millilitres for standard loads. 4 to 5 kilogram and soft medium water, 52 milliliters for larger or dirtier loads and hard water. We are going to go with 52 milliliters because um, I will have to take this dosing ball out before the dryer cycle finishes, before the dryer comes on. So what did we say, 52, yeah? Just there will do. It goes in the top of the load at the back of the drum. I'm going to have my line scale tablet and then we'll set the machine going. So what I'm going to show you is standard cotton cycle. It's cotton 60, 1400 spin. I'm not going to enable the drying cycle uh, because the machine's got to stop afterwards. Then I'll unload the dosing ball and then we'll put the machine on the dry after that. So we'll just let the machine go. I normally select medic rinse, but we're just going to do everything as standard with this and go. Come back to the wash performance. So the machine is at 60 degrees Celsius right now and there's been a bit of suds developing, but not too much. Giving everything a good pounding in there. 
Um, I'm not sure how many people on this channel who or well not uh, who are viewing this and aren't familiar with my channel. I don't know how many people know of LG and what their washers are like, but we do different types of wash action to other machines. So this incorporates a filtration mode, which where the drum distributes the load around the side and forces the detergent through the load. Um, it's not developed many suds. LGs don't use that much water, which is why there's no water visible there. But it looks like things are going. Um, it looks like things are really going um, pretty well now. I can see some of the stains have come off, including the microfiber gloss, so that seems pretty good. Um, this machine, however, does overheat the 67 degrees Celsius, is what LGs do. And there's a way I can check that, I can show you here, so we're not lying. That's the temperature right now, 62. So we're getting a bit more. Um, I don't do a boil, I normally put my towels on a boil wash, but that's not fair to do in a test because the 95 degrees Celsius temperature would shift stains anyway. So it's better to do an optimal temperature that most people will use for towels at 60. We'll just test it on that. Uh, we've got an hour left, so I'll come back to you doing the rinses and the spins. So this is the first rinse, and this is the quality of the rinse water after a intermediate spin at 1000 RPM. So towel's a bit absorbent, there's a bit of suds there. We'll see how the load is after the next rinse. Well, the next rinse is the final rinse, so... That's quite impressive for just one rinse so far, with towels. So we'll unload the machine after the cycle, and I'll check the stains then, and then we'll put everything in for a dry. And just see basically how well it's done, and if the scent of the detergent is still there after the drying. And we're going for a spin now. So on the final rinse now, uh, this will be the rinse quality of the, of the final rinse. Uh, with, of course, fabric conditioner added. Yes, I do use fabric conditioner in my towels. The machine does a slightly lower level for the fire rinse. It uh, would be lower if we had the medic rinse option enabled. But that adds another 25 minutes and I'm not really needing it. These are just test subject towels. They're quite clear, really, considering we did make it to 1000 RPM on the past spin. No, we can swipe the ad. Various balancing issues. So yeah. We'll do the final spin and then we'll have the first results after that. So the door's unlocked, let's have a look at the results. Starting with the microfiber cloths, clean as a whistle. Only just that tiny little bit there compared to what was on there. Okay, let's put that in the bars. Okay. Another one, perfectly clean. There's all these little tiny bits there, but massive improvement compared on the dishcloth. These are really dry as well from that spin, only 2 minutes at 1400 basically. Which shows the machine doesn't need to do the 8 minute one to dry. Ooh, there's a bit of that sellotape or something on there. There we go. 
Um, what did this have on it? I don't know. But, whatever it had, it's gone. <laughs> this had the tomato ketchup. Gone. Whatever these had on them, they're gone. <laughs> it's all gone. Oh, that's what we were looking for, the detergent ball. Again, gone. I think that sums up a lot about this. I'm going to put that back in there for a dry now. They smell really like tropical. So that's going to go back in there for a dry. And I'll see you after the drying cycle. So that's drying in there. Because this washer dryer is designed not to vent out steam during the drying cycle, I um, can't unfortunately check if I can smell the uh, detergent. Although there is quite a nice smell coming out. So it'll be interesting to see at the end of the cycle um, what the results are. As you can see everything's looking pretty dry in there. Um, we're soon to go on to the cool down stage. So when the cycle ends, we shall see the final results and come out nice and fluffy. And that'll be that. Nick's doing an amazing job though. Time for the final results. Stand back, she's going to be hot. Low lint there. Right, that's oh, lovely and hot. It does smell a bit of cleaning products though. Must be from the... That is really yellow, that is. Compared to what it originally was. That's really strange. Mm, okay. So. <clears throat> Let's see. Go by the smell. Okay, <clears throat> so it's not really as strong as it was when it, I first uh, took it out after the spin cycle. The only thing I can say though is that these microfiber cloths were covered in elbow grease, that cleaner, so it might have somehow <laughs> put itself onto this. Um, but I can smell coconut from this. Um, in fact, I can't smell the conditioner I put in, which was as the marine mist, but I can smell the detergent over it, so that's a good sign. Talking about the performance of this, what I did notice, and it's the thing you'll know if you use a combination of liquid and soap powder like I do, liquid dissolves faster in the wash than powder does. Um, soap powder takes longer to dissolve, Whereas liquid dissolves almost instantly with the machine tumbling and the water filling. Uh, we didn't generate as much suds as I expected. I've normally had liquid where the suds level in the machine is up to here. But then again, LGs don't really use that much water. Maybe if I'd done it in my Miele, it might have been a bit different. Um, but I thought I wanted to try out a review with this machine. So I'm thoroughly impressed. The rinsing was great, especially for towels. So for things like bedding and normal loads, this would be great for to use. Um, I will say if you're a low temperature person, I'm not. I use 44, say woolens or silks, silks and 30. But for everything else, I use 60. And then for towels, bedding and whites, uh, or and that stuff goes on 95 or 85 if it's an older machine. I recommend if you're using liquid on low temperatures, please run a maintenance wash cycle more often. Liquid is okay to use, but if you're constantly using it at low temperatures, it's the ultimate way that mold will build up in the door seal and it, I'm not sure how true it is, but it could lead to spider failure, which is the three arm support on the back of the drum, which holds the drum um, to, the, to the pulley basically. Um, it's a lot of, I know a few people um, subscribe to my channel who are engineers who have been called out to incidents for that but I wouldn't say I wouldn't let that put you off it has been voted product of the year for 2020 
even by the Good Housekeeping Institute as well. 25 washers, depending on how much you're using. Um, if your machine has a dedicated liquid compartment, which mine does not, you can just use a capful or two. I have to use a dosing ball because I do not have a actual liquid compartment in the machine. My two hot point machines that I've got though do have liquid inserts, so I can use that and just use about two caps. Uh, the dosing guide on this is very simple. It literally is just at the side here and it tells you for whatever kind of load you're, you're doing. So it, it really is great. I, I use a combination of liquid sometimes and, and I use um, pods as well. I don't have any gel, but I'd like to do a review on maybe some aerial or fairy non-bio gel. So yeah, it it's, it's performs very well. I will link a description in the description where to buy it from. Um, I believe I might have got mine from Morrison's. I don't know. I do too much shopping for detergents, so I don't know one store from the other. Uh, but we're going to be trying fairy pods in our next one of our next reviews, um, and we've got an iron review to do as well. If anyone's interested in buying some irons, we're trying to focus on things that are being sold today that you can buy, like the air conditioning unit and whatnot. So I am going to actually be reviewing this machine at some point, my LG washer dryer, which is my first ever washer dryer. Um, and I'll explain the advantages and disadvantages of washer dryer combo units. Um, I was gonna do a bit of the Miele, but <laughs> you can no longer buy these ones. Um, but still, it'd be good to just do that as an example of how that machine has served me for 12 and a half years now and only ever had two faults in its time. And this machine um, you can still buy, but not the exact same model. There's an updated version of this machine that you can still buy from LG. So, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, and I hope that helped you with some laundry tips. If there's uh, anything else that um, I might not have covered with this, then please let me know. If you have used this Coconut Bliss, please let me know as well. They do a conditioner very similar to it as well, so you can try that from Lenore. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.